Divine Office Evening Prayer God, come to my assistance. Lord, Lord, make make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The angel Gabriel brought God's message to Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. The angel Gabriel brought God's message to Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law, it is, there is to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say, peace upon you. For the love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as as it was was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and and will will be forever. forever. Amen. The angel Gabriel brought God's message to Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. His mother stood beside the cross. 
his mother stood beside the cross. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest, you who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as As it was was in the beginning, beginning, is is now, now, and and will will be be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. His His mother mother stood beside beside the cross. Rejoice, O Virgin Mother! Christ has risen from the dead. Alleluia! Rejoice, O Virgin Mother! Christ has risen from the dead. Alleluia! Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began, to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure, that all might praise the glorious favour he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed, and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favour to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ. A plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as As it it was was in the the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Rejoice, O Virgin Mother! Christ has risen from the dead. Alleluia! A reading from the letter to the Galatians. When the designated time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to deliver from the law those who were subjected to it, so that we might receive our status as adopted sons. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. The Lord is with you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Mary heard the word of God and cherished it in her heart. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary heard the word of God and cherished it in her heart. Let us praise God, our Almighty Father, who wished that Mary, his son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. Now in need we ask, Mary, Mary, full full of grace, grace, intercede intercede for us. O God, worker of miracles, you made the Immaculate Virgin Mary share body and soul in your Son's glory in heaven. Direct the hearts of your children to that same glory. Mary, full full of grace, grace, intercede intercede for us. You made Mary our mother. Through her intercession, grant strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners. Salvation and peace to all. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. You made Mary full of grace. Grant all men the joyful abundance of your grace. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. Make your church of one mind and one heart in love. And help all those who believe to be one in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. You crowned Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the dead rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. With the longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Our Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on on earth earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us this day our daily bread, and and forgive us our our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass trespass against us. And lead lead us not into temptation, but but deliver deliver us from from evil. evil. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to glory of his resurrection who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.